Hello uh, and welcome back to my uh, shop, uh, I mean garage. Anyway, today we're going to start working on the cooling system in this car. Um, as you may have seen in my previous videos, you know, I've got all kinds of uh, bits to replace, like a radiator, water pump, a uh, bunch of hoses, um, thermostat, thermostat housing. I'm going to remove the engine fan. But first we're going to start with uh, draining the coolant. We're going to start by uh, draining it out of the radiator here. And then we're going to drain it out of the block. So let's see how it goes. And again, just a reminder for you, this is an S52 engine. And this is the driver's side. And I'm using a 13 millimeter wrench to undo this uh, drain plug. Here we go. But just on a side note, I'm just really impressed at how uh, great this car looks underneath. There's absolutely no rust. It's squeaky clean. It looks like the steering rack may have been, even been replaced because it just looks brand new. There are absolutely no leaks. Uh, the only leak, well, I shouldn't say absolutely no leaks. There is a leak at the power steering holes, but that's, uh, that's an easy fix. I just have to order a new one. I mean, they're not they're not expensive and they're, and they're not difficult to replace. All right, they drained the block off camera, but needless to say, it was a it's a ridiculous mess. Although I got bonus points, didn't get any in my hair. Uh, I'm not sure what else there is to say. It's just easy procedure, but I don't know how you can avoid the mess here. So now I have uh, old coolant all over my floor, but most of it is in bucket. All right, let's clean it up. All right, sorry, I had to take a little break. But as you can see, I uh, unlocked these two top radiator mounts and these pieces came out. I actually ordered new ones for a new radiator, but I don't think they're, you know, I think that was kind of unnecessary. Uh, I mean, they were pretty cheap, so who cares? Uh, now the radiator is loose and looks like the shroud is gonna come out with the radiator itself. Uh, I haven't looked at how to clear this fan, but uh, just bear with me. Alright, so before the radiator can come out, we need to remove the engine fan. And the way we do it is by removing a 32 millimeter nut that holds it in place. The way you do it is by placing the wrench on the nut and turning it clockwise. First you need to give it a good uh, smack with a hammer just to get it loose. So here goes nothing.
All right, let me show you something here. Uh, after numerous attempts of uh, getting this fan clutch loose, you know, with this uh, five pound mallet, uh, I was pretty unsuccessful. So here's what I did. I went to my local AutoZone and got one of these little guys. It's, uh, it's just a generic fan clutch tool. So what I did was I positioned the pulley in a way that uh, one of the nuts was up like this in this position, you know, vertical. And that's how I was able to get this tool on. And as it was situated here, I put my uh, wrench on the nut. There, there was just enough room to do that. And I uh, pushed down on it while pushing away while holding this tool. And that, that's what, uh, that's what did it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and finally remove this uh, fan and the clutch. This is the tool right here. I just wish I, I've gotten it a little sooner. Now once this knot is loose, it's really easy to take off. And here it is, folks. Yeah, look how old this thing is. That's just a ticking time bomb. So there you have it. I think this radiator is ready to come out now. More coolant.
Yeah, it, it is an original BMW unit value. So yeah, 96,000 miles and this thing has never been replaced. You may want to get a new one. I mean, look at this dude. I, I, I don't think it, <laughs> I don't think it's really doing its job or it was doing its job. Look how clogged it is. Set that aside. All right, if you've been particularly observant, uh, this is already the next day. Uh, you know, I try to work as much as I can on this car, but you know, sometimes life gets in the way. Anyhow, they're gonna remove the thermostat housing. Okay, before I start, before I continue ripping things apart here, uh, I wanted to show you how to flush the system. And surprisingly, I haven't found a lot of uh, you know, videos or DIYs on this, which, like I said, it's kind of surprising because normally if this coolant hasn't been changed in uh, many years, you know, there's going to be some residue in the system. and. You know, I had people suggest that I flush it once I install all the new hoses and the water pump and everything, but I think it's a better idea to flush it out before uh, installing new parts. And once the new parts are on, then I'm, then I'm actually gonna flush it again with uh, 
mixture of distilled water and vinegar, you know, and hopefully that's gonna um, clear out more of the deposits. So my plan of attack is to take this, take the lower radiator hose, which I have right here. And I'm gonna attach a garden hose here. And, you know, turn on the water. And the idea is that the coolant is gonna flow through the system and it's gonna flush out of here where the thermostat goes. But in order to avoid it, uh, to prevent it from splashing out, I'm gonna put my original thermostat housing on, the old one. I'm gonna block out this uh, hole here and connect the coolant holes to, to this side. And I'm gonna route that hose to the bucket that's gonna you know that that's gonna catch everything that comes out of here and once I'm done I'm gonna show you you know I'm sure it's gonna be <laughs> orange or brown in color or at least brownish okay and here's my setup as you can see your typical garden hose you know if you take out the nozzle it's gonna fit right into this coolant hose and I connected well, the radiator hoses, I can't remember if this is the upper or the lower one. I connected it to the thermostat housing here and pointed it towards a nice, yeah, it's, how many gallons is this one? Anyway, it's a pretty big bucket down there just to catch all the stuff that comes out. All right, so here goes nothing. All right, so I was just watching it flow and actually I kind of goofed up. I forgot to block off this end, so I had to hold it uh, with my hand. Actually, it doesn't look as bad as you would imagine it to be, but look at the color. It's like this, has this reddish hue to it. But the system is, uh, the system is clean now. Now I'm gonna install all the new components and then like I said I'm gonna flush it again with uh, distilled water mixed with some vinegar and that's just to re remove you know uh, any kind of residue that might get stuck somewhere. All right so it's been a minute since I've had time to work on this car. Um, Today my goal is to remove most of the coolant hoses, actually all of them, if I can, and uh, 
take off this uh, water pump. Uh, maybe I'll also install the thermostat along with the housing. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll spare you all the details, but if I run into something challenging, then I'll, I'll make sure to uh, slow down and go over those uh, finer details. All right, let me show you one of the first issues that uh, I ran into with these hoses. So there's, there are two hoses that run coolant, you know, through the throttle body. First one, it's pretty easy. You know, it just runs from here to there. Straightforward, nothing difficult. Now, the hard one is this one here. See how it's connected here and snakes all the way through some wires and a uh, little bracket right there and it comes out, you know it's kind of hard to see but right there. Okay so that's the, that one's gonna be, that one's gonna be hard to, you know, to replace but I think we can do it. I think I can stick a uh, like a ratchet with a six millimeter socket in there to undo that clamp and Use a short screwdriver here, and I bet you I'll be able to remove it now running it uh, running a new one there now That's gonna be a bit of a problem, but I'm not uh, I'm not too concerned. I'm sure it's uh, It's doable at least I think it's doable without removing the Intake manifold which I'm trying to avoid here all right guys, I replaced the throttle body hoses. Here they are here with uh, new clamps. I, I ran them back without any issues, you know, under the intake manifold. It wasn't that difficult. Uh, what's gonna be difficult is replacing these uh, heater core hoses. So, I have, here's what I have left. I have this guy. I have a short one here and I have this one here and this this one's probably gonna be the one that's gonna kick my butt today but they're all three all three of these are located here here's one two and there's a short stubby one in the back of this uh, little actuator here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect this this unit here and that that should give me a little more clearance uh, to get access to all the holes clamps again there's you know there's no good way for me to to film this so I'll just explain the process once uh, once I'm actually finished with this so I've made an executive decision to break up this process into you know into a few separate videos um, let me just go over the progress so far so as you can see I've removed the radiator I removed the fan and the clutch uh, I removed all of the coolant hoses I actually just replaced two so far the ones that go to the travel body because they're not gonna get in the way of me you know working on anything else down there um, another thing that I did you know these hoses were removed there was three hoses here for uh, you know for the heater core and there was uh, an actuator here I took that off as well um, so that's you know basically I would recommend doing this job in the order that I did uh, because I just think it's the most uh, straightforward way um, what I also did you know I took a couple of pictures of this setup here uh, just to remember how the hoses connect to uh, to the actuator. And after I did that, I actually put the new hoses on the actuator just to just so I remember, you know, how they are connected. Well, I hope you like my video so far. If you do, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe. You know. 
these projects are gonna get more and more interesting as I move along because there's there's still a lot to be done on this car and uh, yeah so the next video should be of me putting everything together you know I might uh, throw on these hoses off camera because like I said you can't really get a good angle in there anyway and it's all very uh, very straightforward you know some people suggested that you may need to remove an intake manifold to do these hoses that's not true you know as you can see the intake is still in place and you know my hands aren't that uh, you know aren't giant but they aren't tiny either and I was able to squeeze in there with the tools uh, to get the job done all right Thanks for tuning in.